it's Sean Couch and Olga Henry here at the Classic OMV. We're gonna teach you how to set up a trick line with two ratchets. I'm also a new beginner as well, so she's really gonna be teaching me. And we're gonna find out how to do this. Are you gonna find out how much Sean knows about it? Uh, very little, spoiler <laughs> alert. Yeah, yeah, get so all So we have back. a sling. This is a green sling or spun set. Uh, you can use purple slings, they're lighter. This one's a super duper heavy. What's the difference between green and purple? Uh, it's just like a different weight that they can uh, handle. handle yeah. And then we have over here uh, this thing that um, the shackle that goes in the ratchet. You can just connect the sling directly into the, the ratchet like this. Oh yeah. It's just uh, this one is, is a better way to yeah, do it. Yeah, that seems janky to do it that way. You just you just wrap it on around. Just give that thing a little hug right there. You take the shekel and you just scooch it on through the two little loop ends. Look at that. And slip it on through. Tighten that bolt. We usually do this thing here, right? Uh, just to keep it up, yeah. Because poles are slippery, so if, you, if I let go, the the ratchet will just fall in the sand, and the ratchets don't like sand. So they don't like anybody, to be honest. So this side is ready, and we're gonna go set up the other side. It's very similar, but it has like one additional element. So notice how it's staying up too. That's because we tied this piece. This is holding it up. It makes it so much easier. I took my slow release off, but then I didn't know how to put it back on. So I think it's supposed to go on there. I don't know. Yes, She's yes. holding me that's in suspense. A, that's exactly what it's gonna happen. So I did it wrong. So with the soft release, it actually, like it starts here, right? The webbing starts here. Then it goes to the other side. And then it goes to the upper. The, crossbar? The upper crossbar, yeah. And then you wrap it. Not back here, over here. But there are different soft releases out there, so read the manual, they'll have the manual. So Olga, how do you determine like how many times you wrap this thing around? Uh, normally, normally what I used to do is just because it's already like created by a company and there's like a certain length that they were planning this mm -hmm. for. So I normally make sure that the Velcro goes all the way like on top of each other. Okay. But it's also important to see how many wraps it has. Like, like, see how many wraps around one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Like, six, seven, eight wraps is good. So, what, for how it many to should somebody want? Like, what's the range that's safe? I think seven, eight is fine. This what's one, the minimum? Uh, about five, I would say. Okay. Yeah. So, anything less than five and yeah. it's getting too dangerous? Yeah. Okay. But seven, eight's just you the can, safest you, option. You can make it yourself, too. It's okay. Just, like, there are options that are already pre made. different types of ratchets like this is called a mega ratchet because the handle is uh, longer than like this would be the regular size of a ratchet and with a longer uh, handle it becomes a mega ratchet but there are also alpha ratchets that have a even longer uh, handle that makes tensioning so much easier so this is an alpha ratchet handle it makes cranking so much easier and with alpha ratchets, you actually stand on the other side as they sit up that way. So, now what you do, you take your line, and when you feed it into the ratchet, you gotta make sure it goes over this first bar. If you go under, it won't be supported. So you gotta go over and then into that little slot you see back there, right? I don't know if you saw that. Thread the needle, put it through there, Grab your slack. So in order to crank the ratchet, you have to open the handle like this. And then put it at this angle. And then crank it. So that way, the line already sits in here and it's not going to move when we pull it to pretension. Yeah.
So we got our whole end figured out. We know for a fact that this top end is going to make it level. So just like the last time, go over the crossbar to start, thread the needle, slip it in through that slot, and you're going to do a feed of the slack. You'll also notice too that when I pull the slack through, I'm not pulling it behind, I'm pulling it down and back towards the rest of the slack. I don't know if you can see that. It's hungry. So we're going to take as much slack out of the system as possible. We're going to do it by hand. It's actually helpful to pull the top part in and the bottom side out. It makes it easier. So you go one, two, three, one, two, three, and then you hold it. And then you're turning the other side. Then uh, it's pretensioned, and then you can adjust the height if you are not using trees. Like here, we can slide the span sets to the height. Like I can see that that side is higher than this one. It's good for a trick line to be leveled. Yeah, it's, you can push it like this. Oh. I just uh, crank one side and when it's not enough space, I just go to the other side. It's important for the line to go, not to touch the, the edges here. So, so if, it's starting to get a little close, yeah. what can I do? Uh, you can just end, uh, you can use an end of a slack line or something else to, so we're actually going to pull the metal part this way. Okay. So once you crank, I have like a sweet sp spot in time where I can pull like Okay. It would be Ready? like one, yes, one, two. So at first you don't even need the, the big of a pull. Oh, now yeah, it's adjusted. That. Like the more tension you get, the hotter it's gonna be. Sure. Now I'm gonna adjust it a little bit more. Okay. One, two. One piece crank. So one thing to do just to keep your line nice and healthy is we talked about keeping this centered in the ratchet. You can see it's tucked up against this side. So when it's grinding up against that metal under all this tension, it can kind of start to eat away at the edge of the line and create cracks that'll feed in. You, this is a good indicator up here, but you also want to watch underneath, way underneath here. So you can see that it's closer to this side. If it started to bunch up over here, up against this metal, you're going to start seeing some damage over there. So try to make sure it's centered as much as you can. I also prefer, like, um, Wretched's is a good, like, beginner uh, setup mm -hmm. because it's like this. Um, it's, it's not that just complication, but it's just like cheaper. Okay. But I prefer using closed system because uh, then it doesn't damage the line at all, and you can use the same line, and you can yeah, and you can get more tension too on the line. So a qualitative way to know how tight your line is is just the sound. Hear those reverberations? Hear that? Or like this. Yeah. Tight like a bowstring. It's also very important to back up the your ratchets before you even go and try out the line. If the line breaks, the ratchet would fly that way, but if something over here breaks, then the ratchet is gonna fly your way. So once you're balancing the ratchet, you don't want this metal part to fly into you. So that's why you want to back it up to the anchor so it doesn't fly your way. Also, the safety shouldn't be too long because if, if it's too long, then it, you're gonna have the ratchet fly a little bit before it stops.
As you're undoing the soft release, as you pull this Velcro, since this is a given one, it has Velcro. Uh -huh. The Slackline Industries one also has Velcro, same design. Once you pull this off, you want to hold it, and you want to hold it like this, and then slowly, as you're keeping tension on this, I don't want to ever let complete tension off of this, slowly get it to unpop itself, and you'll see that it's now releasing tension. Never letting tension off with this band here. Oh, okay. Undo, undo, undo. Now that I have to let it go, you grab it right here, and you still keep tension. You never let tension off, you slowly unslide it. It, it won't be a very aggressive slide because there's friction in every single one of these bands that, sure. that makes it a slow, soft release. But further and further to the end of the soft release, holding this is that much more critical because now if I let go, it'll, it'll just, just, just un-go. So yeah. it gets even more critical out here because I can feel the tension until the moment it's totally soft. Open the ratchet all the way up to right here, to where it's completely flat and there's a little section that locks in here. Mm -hmm. And then it'll pull itself out, it'll unravel. That's this is the pain. sound of the line releasing here. Watch out. I came up with it all on my own. So Sean actually going to fold the line in half and then roll it. So it takes twice less time to roll the line. Although it does take quite a bit more time to get the line.